Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. Guys, today for this episode we are going to be interacting with the people on Factions Green because I do have some future plans on how to build a vault. So uh, basically what this episode is, it's going to be more of a talking episode. I'm just going to be talking this entire time while um, I try to buy stuff from people on the server. So what I'm going to need right now, buying bedrock pieces, 200k each PME. So P I'm buying bedrock pieces from people right right now. And um, basically I'm buying them for 200,000 a piece. So if you guys are selling bedrock on Factions Green, let me know and I will be able to buy them off of you without any scam. So pay predator 200,000 in C steel, stealer fan. Another one. There's two. So there's two already. Pay Stealer Fan. 200,000. Thanks, Stealer. Thanks, Stealer and Predator. Anyone else? So I am going to be collecting uh, Bedrock for the next couple days. Uh, let's see. Do you feel making me a cell sign? I will give you bedrock. Uh, no, I need to, I need to, I'm not making cell signs. I and mean, that's admin abuse if you, I was making cell signs for stuffs. But I'm, uh, I'm actually giving you money for the bedrock. So, in C, there we go. There's another two pieces. Pay, who was that? Dark Skies, 400,000. Thanks, Dark. So, I do, I have like 40 million left, but Snix has been just owning the, the Iron Golem farm. And she's basically, she has like 100 mil. So, if I ever need any money, I just, uh, I just ask for her, I just ask her for some and she'll be ready to give me some. But as you guys can see, our head wall is getting built slowly and surely. And uh, I really want to fill this up sometime. Uh, are you interested in buying a rage? Message. Message Ted the Beast. I pay only cash. I do signs on live streams only. So for the people who are wondering, and if you guys do watch my videos, I only do sell signs during live streams. So don't spam me when I'm on the server recording. Don't spam me if you just see me online. There's no point because I'm just I'm literally just gonna ignore you because the only times I will do um the only times that I will do sell signs is on the streams. So <clears throat> I'm gonna be talking about some future plans for um Basically for this, for the our sanctum base, because I haven't really done any building recently. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fly up here really quickly, cause so uh, our future plans right now. So this this staircase, we're gonna. I zero wants to remake it because he was the one who originally made the staircase, but he he says he's kind of tired of the design right now and he wants to redesign that entire thing. So this is gonna be a kind of like a small base tour while we're talking, just because uh, a lot of you guys were commenting, uh, do a quick base tour, blah blah blah. So. We're going to do a small base tour right now while I try to buy more bedrock uh, from people. Let's see. Buying bedrock, 200k a piece. So, um, yeah, this is our first floor. This is basically like our community floor. And uh, we spend some of our time in here, especially for making potions. So, uh, we have our auto brewing stance here. We moved it down here to save ourselves some rooms um, upstairs. And see Bumblebee. So Bumblebee says he'll sell me one for 250k. Sure, why not? Message Bumblebee. Sure, put it in your invent. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna buy some of that as well. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, my factions or my the, my Archon rank giveaway for my 2k subscriber mark is almost over. There's two days left. Uh, make sure you guys tune in for that if you guys haven't already. Do all the directions on there. And uh, I, you guys will be able to have a chance to win a a bedrock or not a bedrock a rank on the Archon for free. So uh, Bumpy said he'll sell me one. So that's five pieces right there. Pay Bumblebeast two hundred fifty k. Thank you Bumblebeast. Thank you guys to everybody who's been selling so far on this episode. But yeah, this is the first floor. And this is basically just like I made this uh, this little cool looking house over here. And Snick says she wants to try to copy this or uh, make more buildings look like this. And uh, she made this little uh, windmill over here that stores some of our food stuff. So, I mean, we don't really fully use these rooms. It's more of like a decoration thing. So as you guys can see, there's some stuff in some of these. And then the others, it's not really... We don't really use these too much. So, um, 
that's that. Uh, let's see. Anyone else? Uh, message stealer fan. Sure, I'll buy the raid. How much? So he's gonna sell me a raid apparently. So this is this is it's kind of easy for us to find raids because it's either insanity finds the raid or people just PM me to try to sell a raid. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So let's. This is the first floor, basically, as you were saying. So what we tried to create in this corner was like it, like a fake, uh, how do you call it? Like a fake uh, cave system to make it look like uh, it looked really, really nice in the recording. And so as you guys can see here, there's like coal, like all everything that you could build. All the building blocks are all in here. We don't fully use these rooms once again. It's just more for decoration purposes. But I think it looks really nice and it adds on to the nice feeling. And then I don't know what this room is. I guess... Uh, <laughs> I guess Snix decided to make a little chest room or tools room slash axes and swords chest for everybody here. Oh. So Steeler Search has a base. <clears throat> Steel Search has a base. Oops. And he says that there's like 60 plus spawners of iron golems, 19 pigmen. Name your price. Message Steel Search. What or what faction is it? and i don't know tell me your price so i might be rating that in the next episode guys if me and steel fan can come up with a price because apparently he says there's about 60 iron golem farms in there right now or 60 iron golem spawners in there right now and uh and uh basically we'll see if we can come up with a with a price so uh we'll just wait we'll, we'll be looking for him to uh message or message me back and we'll see we'll see how much he wants to charge for that big of a raid but we'll see so uh we'll move up on to the next floor this is our nether room floor basically and um message stealer fan sure tpa me there and i'll check it out and i'll pay you after tpa stealer fan all right so i'm gonna tpa to him and then set a home right over there, and then I'll probably be recording that for the next faction or for the next episode. So Mason T is right here. It looks like so they look. Oh, they broke in from upstairs, and as you guys can see, we will be raiding this on the next episode. Set home, uh, G raid one. Let's just do that. Pay Steeler fan two twenty thousand two hundred thousand two million. Message Steeler fan. Thanks. I'll record this tomorrow. <laughs> Don't raid it. So uh, that'll be on. That'll be up tomorrow's video if I do have time. Otherwise, I will be doing that sometime very, very soon. And uh, yeah, so there's a there's a raid. That's basically how I get my raids, guys. People sell them to me, and uh, we'll be able to uh, do that. So this is our nether room floor, nether nether floor, and I have a. We have a bunch of uh, blaze spawners in here. I think there's like five or six. And then as you guys can see, if we ever need XP, we can just kill these really quickly, grab the XP drops, and there we go. So he's got some string, just like a random chest. These aren't any, none of these are really uh, fully, fully organized. We're kind of just uh, messing around with it. And then here's my, uh, here's my automatic pigment killer form. And as you guys can see, I'm going to just fly up here just to save us some time. Or I'll, I'll take a peek right here. Come on. So this is the one that I made on the live stream, as you guys can see. I, I do I do use this fairly often to actually get god apples because look at these. They make they drop the golden ingots in here, and then you can just make those into gold bars. And then once once you make them into bars, you can make them obviously into god apples or into gold blocks and then god apples. And then if we move a little bit further on, this is uh, Snix's moderation room. So she likes to AFK in here when she's like sitting and just moderating chat like early in the morning. And I've seen her here a couple times and she's she literally like Snix is probably one of the best chat moderators that we have on green as of right now. She'll, she'll literally just sit there and just actually watch chat, just make sure nobody's uh, spamming and whatnot. And yeah, that's basically it. That's the main bulk of our base. If I do home storage, this is uh, a couple floors up. So there's the nether floor right over there. And then here is our uh, here's our this is my main storage area along with insanities. A bunch of our main stuff is here. So um basically yeah that's that's it right now let me see so all i've or i organized these chests a couple of episodes ago so i'm not going to show you guys exactly what's through those because if you guys do happen to somehow get inside to raid me 
I don't want to show you guys where all the good chests are. So th that's me and Insanity's main storage area there. And then over here, a little bit further along, we have, uh, this is Big Daddy Mark's, um, he's, he's one of our faction members. This is his, uh, his little storage area. His looks a little nicer. It's a little bit more decorated with quartz and, uh, nether, br nether brick and whatnot. But, uh, overall, we have a nice, uh, nice functional base. I mean, we obviously could add more. That's why I wanted to make this this big, because we could add as much stuff as we need. There's our, uh, obsidian generator. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the base coordinates. Uh, or not base coordinates. Um, so let's see if I could do, let's see if I could get another bedrock piece. So, uh, I am planning. So the reason why I'm buying the bedrock, I nearly have a stack now. The reason why I'm buying the bedrock is because I'm going to show you guys in a future episode how to build up like a glitch proof vault to prevent people from, uh, actually glitching into your bases. And, uh, you know, it's always, it's always frustrating when you guys have to deal with somebody who's glitched in. NC Ted, so uh, Ted is gonna send me one. So yeah, it's really really frustrating to uh, to have your bait have your base glitched into. So we'll do it. We'll do a small episode. NC Stylus. We'll do a small episode on how to make your your base as glitch proof as possible, and <clears throat> and basically yeah, that that'll be a future episode. I'm not do, I'm not really sure how far because I do need to collect a fair bit amount of. Uh, of bedrock before I do I almost have a stack so that's really 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 good and uh, yeah so this is it for today's episode I don't really have anything much else planned you guys just wanted a quick base tour so I decided to give one before we start building or adding more stuff to it I'm really enjoying building on my rise SMP series so that's probably the one of the only reasons why I'm not fully 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 building on um, in our actual sanctum home and I'm actually expecting us to get raided fairly soon anyways and um, I'm kind of trying to tie in together the like the vault build, like the vault build tutorial slash moving if this base ever does get raided. So I have like two backup bases in my set homes in case this does get raided. So a majority of my good stuff isn't even here. So if you guys are probably like, oh my god, D field is so overpowered. Uh, this is only half of our stuff. Well, maybe like a fourth of our stuff. So. Yeah, you guys are going to get a decent amount of stuff for raiding this. Takes the time. If you guys put the time and effort into raiding our uh, our Sanctum base, I mean, why not? Let's give you guys some rewards for it. But a majority of the stuff isn't here, as I was as as I said. So, and I, I haven't even showed my other bases on uh, on recording yet. So, uh, it's good. you guys are going to be in for a surprise once that's finally fully built. But I haven't started on it yet, just because I haven't had time due to, to school constraints. So, uh, yeah. That's it for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little uh, Sanctum Base uh, tutorial. Or not tutorial. Walkthrough slash... Um, I don't know, just showing you through the base, I guess. And um, I got, I think, wait, let me check really quickly. Right before I end the video, I already forgot. So let's see. Already have 59 bedrock. So I, you saw me right there, about like seven on, on recording right there. 59 bedrock, and um, I'm probably going to try to get about two stacks of bedrock. And then once I have two stacks, we'll, we'll initiate that episode on the tutorial. And then basically we'll show you guys how to make your bedrock vaults glitch proof for the for the most part at least so yeah this is d field thank you guys for watching make sure you guys like comment and subscribe as i said and we will see you guys later